champion, my friend. Bow. And you keep on teasing to the end. Bow, bow, bow. BRB, I gotta go run up some steps and yell out my girlfriend's name. Boom, shakalaka. <laughs> This is a very special, very exclusive game of HQ, if you're wondering, that's why the number's so low as far as the people that are here. Because you guys earned this game, babies. No one won or even multiple games of trivia this past week, and now we're going to celebrate. We're going to celebrate like it's 1999. I want to shout out some of the winners from this week real quick. Uh, Summer Mama, I see you, girl. Jay Silverman, I see you, boy. Miss King Kong, I see you, gorilla. Lambert Man, I see you, man. J Fish Low, I see you, fish. Yeah, y'all crushed it. Oh, man, I'm so proud of y'all. Oh, my God. Okay, let's let's talk about some of the games coming up. Okay? Tonight, maybe you don't want to be a shoe. Maybe you want to be a winner, all right? After you conquer this champion game, meet me at Central Park for Friends Season 1 Trivia Night. Yes, we're giving away $10,000 in trivia. That's followed by Friends Word Puzzles at 9.30. So don't miss that, okay? Tomorrow is the season three finale, babies. We're giving away a total of $125,000. $10,000 in sports, $100,000 in trivia, $15,000 in words. This is the most money that I have ever given away. So I'm very excited, okay? I can't, I don't know what to do with myself. All right, we got some special guests joining us this week, too. Starting with Dog Night on Wednesday. Yeah, Eric Stone Street is going to be here guest hosting, babies. Who let the dogs out? We're going to find out. Me, Eric Stone Street's going to be here. It's going to be a, a stone cold blast. That's right. Then on Thursday, can you tell me how to get... How to get Hi. to Sesame Street. Hi. It's Friendship Night on HQ with my buddies Bert and Ernie. Six-year-old Matt is freaking out right now, okay? I had so much fun hosting with Cookie Monster last time, so grab your friends and join me Thursday. Bert and Ernie's going to be here. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. Tonight, though, it's all about the champions right now, okay? This is a super exclusive game for the best of the best. Y'all know how this works, all right? I'm going to ask you 12 questions from easy to hard. You got 10 seconds to tap the correct answer. Get them all right, and you win. All right, I got $1,000 plus 10 million points. What? That's really going to give you the boost you need before the season three finale tomorrow. So, you know, shout out to y'all for making it happen. Making it do what it does. Now, this is the champion game, okay? So we're going to make it a fun challenge for you. There will be no free passes on questions this game. You might see free pass on your screen. This is the champion game, babies. Your free pass can't save you. Okay? This is not the time to get caught on a tough question without an extra life. So we got the best HQ players with us right now. You already know. You can use multiple extra lives now. That's right, babies. You can now use one, two, or even three extra lives in a single game of HQ. I love this. You can get some now if you see it on your screen, but you can only purchase extra lives once per game. Remember, players, you can use up to three extra lives on any questions except for the final one. No questions on the last one. You feel me? Also, you're going to want to stick around even if you get knocked out on a savage question tonight because I got a little, uh, another little surprise up my sleeve for everybody that stays and plays. So if you're staying and playing, you better stay. Don't you leave, okay? Because I got something for you. I'm not going to say when. Then be surprised. Oh, look at me! Champions, get ready. It's time for question one. Nothing to it but to HQ it. Which of these is a type of energy commonly studied in physics? Kinetic, karmic, or Kardashian? This is 
all for the champions, baby. Yep, almost 24,000 champions. We couldn't let everybody in the game. That's for sure. All right, kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses due to motion, right? Like a, like a baseball getting thrown by a pitcher. Kardashian energy, now that, that makes you bug out during TV interviews. I am Picasso. I am Walt Disney. That's Kardashian energy right there. 22,070. Got it. And you're moving on to question number two. But before we do that, if you want to multiply your points during this game, you can totally do that. You can purchase a point multiplier. Get one right now if you see it on your screen, okay? The season finale is tomorrow. So level up right now, okay? Do it. Believe in yourself and the power of dreams. Now let's continue to question two. What legendary general crossed the Alps with an army of elephants? General Motors, Hannibal, or Norman Schwarzkopf? Hmm. The element of surprise is a powerful force in warfare. Just ask the ancient Romans, okay? They were uh, like 20, uh, uh, two, 218 BC, right about that time. A circus parade marched into town, and Hannibal said, Oh, oh, hey, you guys. Hey, what's going on? You guys ready for a little war? I am. I'm here. And, uh, but Hannibal, I know, would have put pickle juice on everybody. Shout out to Hannibal Burris. Hannibal's the answer I was looking for. 16,345. I like pickle juice on my sandwiches. I put a little pickle juice on my sandwich. Hannibal's hilarious. Okay. Question three, what's it gonna be? What is this old commercial for? Take a look. Yo. What's that? <laughs> Pizza, beer, or soda? If you don't know, I can't tell you. All right, you had to be there. You had to be there. Sorry to all the little babies that don't know this. Has it really been 20 years, though, since the What's Up guys? Took, they, they took over the airwaves. That ad led to a lot of sequels. It became an out-of-control meme, and it sold a lot of beer. What's up? Where's Dookie? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> 13,263 in the place to be. Got beer. That's correct. Cheers to you. I can't have one, but you can. Hello. Question number four. In a hit video game, who is Cuphead's sidekick? Glass Guy, Stein Sir, or Mugman? What's it gonna be? Again, if you're getting them wrong, stay in the game. I got a little surprise for everybody. All right. This indie hit game surpassed everyone with its devotion to the look and feel of 1930s cartoons. All right. That's the whole Cuphead vibe. And the latest update lets you play as the protagonist Cuphead or... His pal, Mugman. Whoop whoop! 11,687 did that. Still here, rocking it out. Remember, there are no free passes in this game, okay? But you got this. You're champions. You did it. You're here. Here we go. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Question five. Question five. Ah, 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 ah. Champion five. Here we go. So what's the, what's the, what's the scenario? Which of these is a chemical element? Bronze, germanium, or malachite? I really hope, really hope that you didn't pick bronze. Because that's an alloy of at least two metals, okay? And malachite's even worse. It's a copper carbonate mineral. But element number 32 is the semiconductor germanium. Uh, that's right now, 9,782 knew what to do. Oh, shoot. Look at you. <laughs> yes. And you are moving on. A lot of extra lives getting used right there. It's all good. We got 12 questions. This is question number six. Here we go. Discord is a software allowing users to do what? Stream, chat, or compete. Discord. What is it? You tell me. Certainly not the first software to do this, but it is a favorite among web users. Discord lets you quickly and easily start up and invite people to a chat room. 7,556. Yeah. 
you did that. I was in a Discord group for Pokemon Go. Me and Rob. Rob invited me. But, hi, Rob. He hates when I do that. Oh, man. Hey, babies, it's time for some prizes. All right? Oh, when you see the treasure chest on your screen, just keep tapping it until it opens. Ellen, hit me with the, the drop the gift box. Yeah. Just tap on it, babies. Tap, tap, tap. Keep on tapping until it opens. And tell me what you got. Let me know what you got in the gift box. Question number seven. Which supermarket product was invented as a use for factory waste? Granola bars, SpaghettiOs, or tater tots? Mm. Leave it to a food company to throw nothing away. Even if it means inventing a new food item. It happened in the 50s when they said, Hey, well, what are we about to do with all these leftovers from the french fries? Huh? And thus, the answer, the tater tot, was born. Tater tots, y'all. Yeah. Little french fry nuggets. That's what they are. Tater tots is all potato to me. <laughs> 4,500 and something. It went away before I... It's all good. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. Which of these words is an endonym? Francia, Italy, or Deutschland? What's it going to be? You tell me. I'm talking about an endonym. That means inside name. A place, a place's name for itself, okay? Italy is what we call Italy, right? And Francia is France in Spanish. But the Germans call themselves Deutschland. 4,935. Got that one. Guten Abend, Fräulein. Oh, yeah. Wiener Schnitzel, which isn't really German. I think that's from Austria, but... It's all good. It's chicken on a stick. It's pretty tasty. Here we go. Question number nine. Which of these dog breeds has not taken the top prize at Westminster since 1907? Newfoundland, Boxer, or Dachshund? All right, the Newfoundland, uh, the, that breed has won best in show twice, right? And the Boxer about four times. Yeah, but a Dachshund. Has never won Best in Show. Dachshund was the answer. That's a savage question. A fool that behind. Here we go. A savage question song. Sorry you got it wrong. Savage question song. There's a savage question song. Savage Dachshund. Keep on running with your little tiny legs, wiener dog. And one day you might take home the prize. Question number 10. Here we go, my friends. Time to get it in. What is the capital of the first country to attempt a withdrawal from the United Nations? Belgrade, Taipei, or Jakarta? How's it going to be? All right, check it out. Indonesia withdrew from the UN in 1965, and then they rejoined a year later. The capital of Indonesia is Jakarta, baby. 1,819 jelly beans still in the scene. With a gangster lane, it's time for question 11. All dogs go to heaven. Oh, that's right. Question 11. What is the busiest day for KFC restaurants in Japan? New Year's Day, Vernal Equinox, or Christmas? The busiest day for KFC in Japan, y'all. That's what I want to know about. If you got any Japanese friends, it's too late to ask them. Because I'm about to give you the answer. All right? When you're this far from home, you never know what or, or how they're going to celebrate. And the Japanese have to make a reservation at KFC up to two weeks in advance if they want to have themselves a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little chicken with a biscuit. Yeah. 2760. Got it right. 2760, y'all. I'm moving on to question 12. Woo! What's that smell? Smells like money. Follow me and that was funny. <laughs> question 12. I said question 12. Question 12. Mm. Here we go. Question 12. Which emotion in Pixar's Inside Out is not voiced by a Saturday Night Live cast member? Joy, fear, or anger? What's it going to be? 
All right, the inner workings of the human head are very complex and take multiple actor comedians to depict properly. But only Amy Poehler and Bill Hader were on SNL. Louis Black, on the other hand, he did stand-up and The Daily Show before voicing anger. Yes, we have 1,505 winners of HQ's Trivia's HQ Trivia's Champion Game. What? I know where I work. Right here at HQ Trivia. That's at HQ's Trivia. Oh, boy. Never going to hear the end of that one. Congratulations, BBS. All right, everybody got some money and some points. Literally, no. 1,505 wins. Oh, boy. You're the best around. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. Oh, I gotta read your names. D. Pinkowitz, Jilly D. Marais, Perfect Shaw. Look at that kitty cat. Turtle Boy, Z. Bruley, and that doggy. Oh, you are the champions, my friends. Bow, bow. And you are the champions of the champion game. That's some insane bragging rights, babies. I've had so much fun hosting for you. Oh my goodness! My name is Matt Richards, the Money Flipper. Follow me on the socials at Matt Was Funny. Don't go too far, all right? Because we're live again at nine with more trivia and ten thousand dollars up for the taking. How much of that money will you be making? I guess I'll uh, have to see to find out. Um, bye -bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.